Are you an empath who often feels overwhelmed? Ever wondered why? Welcome to our exploration of the empath's world, a place where feelings run deep and emotions are as palpable as the air you breathe. Empaths, known for their heightened sensitivity, often find themselves shouldering more than just their own emotions, which can lead to a sense of being overwhelmed. Today we're going on a journey to uncover 10 indicators that may suggest an empath is stuck in patterns rooted in their childhood. From struggling with setting boundaries to attracting toxic people, from having difficulty saying no to feeling like they're never enough, these are signs that may resonate with many empaths. These indicators are not just points of discussion, but an invitation to understand and acknowledge these challenges. By doing so, we can begin the journey towards healing and growth. Stay with us as we delve into these indicators one by one. First off, we have difficulty setting boundaries. Empaths with their innate sensitivity often struggle to establish a clear line between themselves and others. They absorb the emotions, concerns, even the problems of those around them, almost like emotional sponges. This can lead to a state of emotional overload, feeling overwhelmed and drained. It's like trying to fill everyone's cup when your own is empty. It's essential to remember that it's perfectly okay and necessary to prioritize your own needs and well-being. Remember, it's okay to put your own needs first. Next on the list is people-pleasing behavior. This is a common trait among empaths. The deep-seated desire to keep those around them happy often leads to the empath prioritizing others' needs over their own. This could mean saying yes to things they'd rather not do or putting others' happiness before their own. But this can lead to feelings of resentment and a sense of losing their own identity. It's crucial to remember that it's not selfish to prioritize your own needs. It's important to stay true to oneself. Thirdly, we have the fear of conflict. Empaths, being the sensitive souls they are, often avoid conflict like the plague. Their peace-loving nature may cause them to sacrifice their own needs or beliefs just to keep the peace. This avoidance, while seemingly benign, can lead to a pressure cooker situation. Emotions get bottled up, unheard, unexpressed. The fear of conflict can leave empaths feeling voiceless, misunderstood. But remember, expressing your true feelings is vital. Moving on to the fourth point, self-doubt and low self-esteem. Empaths often grapple with these feelings, particularly when they haven't yet learned to appreciate their own emotional needs. This can make it challenging for them to assert themselves, to stand tall and say, I matter too. It's like trying to catch a slippery fish with bare hands. The fish being their self-worth, always slipping away just when they think they've got a hold on it. Valuing your own feelings and needs is crucial. Halfway through, we have difficulty with self-care. Empaths are often so consumed with caring for others that they neglect their own needs. This tendency to prioritize others can lead to burnout, a state of physical and emotional exhaustion that hinders their ability to function effectively. It's crucial to remember that self-care isn't a luxury, but a necessity. It's like the oxygen mask scenario on a plane. You need to secure your own mask first before helping others. Taking care of yourself isn't selfish, it's necessary. Next, we have attracting toxic people. Empaths, with their innate ability to connect and understand others, often find themselves drawn to individuals who exude negativity or display abusive traits. Why? Many empaths feel they can help alleviate the pain these individuals carry. Unfortunately, this can lead to increased emotional distress for the empath as they absorb this pain. It's crucial for empaths to remember that it's not their responsibility to heal everyone. Remember, you don't need to carry others' pain. Eighth on our list is difficulty with change. Empaths often find change challenging, largely due to their profound emotional connection with others. They resonate so deeply with other people's emotions that the pain experienced by those also grappling with change can be acutely felt by the empath. This intense emotional mirroring can make transitioning from familiar situations or relationships particularly hard. Remember, change, though tough, is frequently a catalyst for personal growth. Change can be hard, but it's often necessary for growth. Next, we have feeling overly responsible for others' emotions. Empaths often carry the weight of the world on their shoulders, believing they have to fix everything for everyone. This undue burden can leave them feeling guilty and stressed when they can't alter a situation or change how someone is feeling. 
Remember, you can offer support, but you cannot control or change someone's emotional state. It's essential to understand this to protect your emotional well-being. You are not responsible for others' emotions. Penultimate point, difficulty saying no. Empaths, with their innate desire to help, often find it challenging to utter that simple two-letter word, no. This struggle can lead to an overwhelming load of responsibilities as they tend to take on more than they can handle. It's a real challenge rooted in the fear of disappointing others or causing them discomfort. But remember, it's crucial to protect your energy and emotional health. It's okay to say no when you need to. Lastly, we have feeling like they're not enough. It's an all too common sentiment among empaths, especially when they habitually put the needs of others before their own. This self-sacrificing nature can lead to feelings of inadequacy, leaving them to question their worthiness of love and happiness. But it's crucial to remember that your value isn't determined by how much you do for others. You are not defined by the weight of the world you carry for others. You are enough, just as you are. So, these were the 10 indicators that empaths might be stuck in childhood. We've journeyed together through the complexities of being an empath, from the struggle of setting boundaries, the tendency to please others, the fear of conflict, self-doubt, difficulty with self-care, to the tendency of attracting toxic people. We've also explored the difficulty with change, feeling overly responsible for others' emotions, the challenge of saying no, and the feeling of not being enough. These can be challenging to navigate, but it's important to remember that these are not definitive traits, but indicators. They simply suggest where you might be stuck and where there's room for growth. If you identify with these indicators, it's crucial to seek professional help. A therapist can guide you in developing healthy coping mechanisms, setting boundaries, and learning to value your own needs and feelings. Remember, it's okay to seek help. You are not alone.